at that time, Dev Jam was the biggest show on HBO. And then I would call clubs and go, yeah, I did Dev Jam. They go, oh, we don't use those type of acts. <laughs> so it, all it did was, <laughs> all it did was hurt me. Yo, Dom, over here. Hey, hey Dom, hey. Uh... Yo, Dom. Yo, Dom. We're back. Oh. Dom What's Herrera, up? Steve Rinaldi, Brian, the video guy. How are you, Dom Herrera? I'm doing good. How you doing? You're laying out in the sun? Yeah, I stick my head out the window. This is what's the my... what's the weather today in LA? We got to the weather already. <laughs> it's so fucking boring. We got to the weather. Oh my uh, god, it's... I'm I'm a terrible host. You keep you You're keep not a me, Dom. host. I'm, I'm trying over you. here, Dom. It's out of love. It's coming from a good place. It's... Look, look at me. I keep the pace with what's happening today. The Beatles on my fucking chest. Do you believe there you that? go. Good. How sad is that? No, you know, people people who know me that I like the Beatles so much, but I don't want pictures of men on my chest. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a little kind of a little light in the loafer. Yeah, but I, I'm wearing a throwback Randall Cunningham jersey. Is there anything wrong with that? A lot of things wrong with it. <laughs> like, like what? <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? Alphabetical order? I know. I, I'm saying, what is wrong with supporting somebody? You don't put the guy's face on you. Oh, okay. I mean, unless you well, all these years you're doing stand up, you never sold shirts after a show. I can't do it. Never once. Never should. No, uh, maybe a, a special or something. I had. I, I couldn't do it. Did we talk about Vinny's well, place? I mean, we we've we've talked about selling merch after shows. I can't do how- it to people. I can't sell it. You know, after they just paid to see me drank. Came to see me and and it's again. You know, I can't do that. But it's just not me. I can't ask. For, I can't ask for change. No. I, can't. I, I respect that. That's interesting. Yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people to the merchandise. That's that's cool. But if you have kids and you have to support them, I understand that. It's just for me. It's not good. I'd rather just right. give them away. Now, you know. You know. Some some comedians might get offended by that, Don Marrera. Like, I, did I? Did you hear me with the disclaimer of saying <laughs> that if you have kids or something, you, you, why do we, why do you always go for the herb spot? Huh? I'm just I'm saying and you find you find that spot and you just fucking dig and dig. Well, I I I just had a baby girl and I'm thinking about getting merch and I never did it before. I'm trying to pick your brain, get some advice. I got two words for you: put her up for adoption. <laughs> Oh, I know you love her. I know you. Let me tell you something. I know you love her now, but when she's 16, no. I kid. They kid because they care. When, I, when I'm chasing these kids with a baseball bat when they're trying to take my daughter out, don't even bring easy, it up. Oh, easy on to take your daughter out. She, uh, walk yeah, let's change the subject. Let's talk about Madonna. Have you seen a picture of her lately? Jesus Christ. She's not letting it go easily, is she? Oh, my God. Dom, or, Dom like, would... Can I ask you a question? I know you're with your lady. I'm First of all, we're already talking. You can ask me any question you want. Would, would you? Is she attractive, 62-year-old woman? Madonna? Can you bring a picture up, Brian? Madonna now? Bring up a photo of Madonna, 2022. Just for shits and giggles. Have you seen her lately, Dom? No, I know for myself. No, that's not recent. No. That is not recent. She's she a tra- like she's a, she's attractive there. She looks like my girlfriend a little. She, she's she's attractive there. Twenty twenty two. It happens to all of us, but I mean, there's a there's a way like a George Clooney way, who people will look out. And then there's people like like me, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> See that eye? That's how you gotta. I don't want to. I don't. If he fucks up the operation, that scares me because I don't want to look like I'm always surprised. You know, just. <laughs> <laughs> Dom, if the doctor fucks up the operation, you're gonna go. You're gonna go around to his house and take care of him, smack him around a little bit. Well, I won't be able to see him. <laughs> He's probably gonna be standing it's, right it's in front what, of me. That's what you pay people for. No, I. Uh, I was thinking. I was asking him about. I said, "What if you sneeze? What if there's an earthquake?" He goes, "Oh, yeah, that's a rough one." Yeah, <laughs> he could have come up. My... Yeah, yeah, he could have come up with an answer. Do we have a special guest today? We do. We do. I'm, I'm, I don't I'm, think we should go to him. I'm just giving you can if you want. Is, is, is that mean the show is like running dry a little bit right now? I thought we're warming up over here. I mean, arid. It's arid. <laughs> like like it's the arid. Mojave. 
our, our guest is here. They are, they are, they are ready. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get them in. You ready? Hey, uh, what is Rod, this? I was, that was a quick opening this week, Tom. You ran me over. You're no, tired wait. of talking to me. You can, you know, insert different little clever, clever things in the middle of the whole day. You don't have to do it all. All right. Once. Well, when your conversation goes dry with the special guest, surprise guest, dry, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to dive in and, and try to. Yeah, I got notes. I do homework on oh, our guys. Oh, go ahead. Hit, hit, hit me. Was that the – whose hat is that? Eagles, that, baby. That, I got uh, – this is this is a Mets hat here. I got here. Oh, that's – I'm sorry for you. Yo, Phillies won today, Dom. I saw that. Looking good, buddy. You making oh, some money this year? I don't like that. I'd be, I, baseball, I don't – everything's so fucking long. Football, yeah, I, love, I love the NFL. Yeah. All those guys that would have been in jail got a place to play, huh? <laughs> All those. <laughs> what did I say? Well, first. Uh... Whoa, Dom, you're on fire. Yeah. This, yo, what did I... bring in the surprise guest, Brian. I think he's going to vibe out. It's with Joe Coughlin. He, Rich Vaz. That's the one person I wanted to see more. One of the everybody. biggest ball breakers in the business, Dom. Are you ready for? You think you can Wait. keep up with Rich and no, his not a rapid chance. fire ball breaking? First of all, <laughs> do you think I'm coming on this fly by night podcast just to ball break? All right, you know what I get paid for that? What am I a low budget Jeffrey Ross? <laughs> I don't. Ask, I, don't you, you don't want to know? I. <laughs> <laughs> first of all. I have nothing but total respect for Dom. What can I say with, without, uh, you know, it's, it, first of all, it's like, it's like, you know what it's like? It's like it's scrap. <laughs> it, it's like, it's like scrapple attacking filet mignon. It's, you know what I mean? And, uh, of course. you know, I mean, <laughs> and, and. I'm going to go after a guy with no complexion that looks like the son of a scallop. Uh, I'm not going to attack that. Wow, it is a roast. No, <laughs> sorry. I got to see who that is. It's Dom, it's Dom Irera. Look at that, you know. Uh, is that Bonnie? Oh. Yes, hey. yes. That, Bonnie in that outfit? Look how beautiful she is. How are you doing, kid? I, I, don't, I don't see it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't know. Uh so what's going on? What is there? Do we have a topic? Do we have a theme? Is somebody going to throw a beer can at my head? No. Well, uh, Rich, Rich, I'm I'm, I, I kind of I got notes. If your conversation with catching up with Dom runs dry. So, OK, but the, well, the, the only thing dry just left the room. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is my ears. Uh, 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 everybody. Where are you at? You're at home, right? This is uh, everybody's in their home. You know what this reminds me of? The beginning of the pandemic where I said yes to everything. Uh, <laughs> That's the whole premise of the show. Really. <laughs> it's it's uh, two headliners and a bringer. Uh, headliners. <laughs> you know what? We're I, not headliners. <laughs> let me tell you how how much of a comic Don Myrera is. I, I, okay, I was in San Jose one night. I was doing a private show. I don't know, a convention or s just upsetting some audience. So I had the night off. And I, yeah, I walked over to a club and the headliner there, hey, how you doing? Da, da, da. And that was it. And I left. Then, uh, you know, another. then I walk over to, the, I go over to the stress factory which is by my house and Dom is there headlining. And the first thing Dom says is, do you want to do a spot? He, he, no, he wasn't on yet. <laughs> he goes, do you want to do a spot? And that's how uh, a headliner, the last, the other place, the guy didn't ask me if I wanted to go on because the guy was insecure and knew he's not going to be able to follow Rich Foss. But Dom, has, <laughs> but Dom had no problem. He goes, you want to do a spot? I went on and I killed like, Rich Floss always does. And he went on and he just fucking destroyed on stage. But he had the common courtesy. If I'm on if I'm working a club and a comic walks in, that's the first thing I go, Do you want to do a spot? You know, that's what you say. Like, look it. When you guys start working clubs, all right, this is what I'm I'm saying to you with your stupid Eagles hat. Ugh, 
I, Which I featured <laughs> for you before. I'm working clubs. Oh, where? It's where are the Beatles? Where, yeah, where, where did you? He, he, helium's and the Funny Bones. Oh, two, two more so organizations that don't take my calls. <laughs> <laughs> my fucking career. I'm doing so bad I bring my own curtain to gigs. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the movie that I never saw. I have the I, I got the movie, so many copies. I got so many copies here. I can mail you one, or it's on iTunes right now. It's five bucks, or I can mail you a, a copy. I don't I know if you five still- covers. <laughs> you got, go to I, watch it on iTunes. Women aren't funny. Your scene was great. You you should. Oh, they, Dom, you were in it, Dom. Yeah, a little uh, in the shower, right? Yeah. Let me tell you something. If they gave Oscars for cameos, right there. <laughs> You're a beautiful it, guy. It, so it, how, it, go ahead. No, you you worked at last. Did you see Mark? What was his name? Who Who's, the, the, who's the owner of the what of helium? No, not helium. Uh, uh, stress factory. Oh, Vinny. Oh, Vinny. Vinny. Yeah, Vinny. I texted him today, uh, you know, because he hasn't rebooked me, which he will, but he has like some horrible acts, and I just put their names down and go, <laughs> and not me. <laughs> <laughs> not me. Here, well, let me tell you. Huh? You want to hear a funny one? What I did is wait. Dumb so a head headliner screenshot. Like headliners, other headliners that are working yeah. all the time and say, Are you fucking kidding me? I go, Yeah, I go, That's, <laughs> that's well, I, wait, hold on. It's the best way to sell yourself. It's the best way to sell yourself. <laughs> well, I, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you two. I can tell you a million of them. Bridges, I fucking bur- wait. What did I say to Vinny? I go, uh, I go, So, so and so's name, but not Rich Voss, incomprehensible. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I had to look up how to spell that seven times. So here's a good one. I was working a club. Uh, I don't want to say any names. Uh, the comedy works in Denver. and <laughs> That's a big conflict with Jersey. Okay, so uh, the first time in, it goes well. Second time, okay. So it's Halloween weekend. There's people. There was a guy there in, in, in blackface. Of course, I attacked him. Oh. Anyhow. So what, what what year was this? This was a, it, I let's say six years ago. Oh, six years ago. <laughs> there I said it. <laughs> so anyhow, by the way, I got my Zorro costume in the car. <laughs> so, so the owner says at, at the time to my manager, "I did too much crowd work." First of all, she wasn't even there, but it, let's say I did. First of all. If I sold the room out, they wouldn't care if I lit the uh, fucking wait staff on fire. Okay, they don't give a shit what you do. It's all numbers. Mm-hmm. So anyhow, take it easy, so, breathe. Sorry, <laughs> so, you're, you're gonna get yourself all worked up again, and then somebody has to cr- tranquilize you. You're so, doing fine. Yes, you're funny. Okay, so low. Yeah, not everybody's fun. cup of tea, but you're funny. <laughs> no, it's, no, I've toned it down. <laughs> not everybody. Okay, not not even in England. So. I'm working with this guy in Syracuse. He's Midland. I think he passed, but very funny guy. He goes, yeah, I do a podcast with her. I'll tell you. I'll talk to her. So I email her. I go, hey, let bygones be bygones. Let's move on. Let's start over. You know, whatever. Mm -hmm. So no response. What's that? So, So there was no response. None. So I write to her, by your lack of response, it looks like you want to move forward, right? Then no response again. I So I go, these are my available dates. She was deaf. No response again. And then I email her. I go, look, can I bring my own middle? <laughs> Never responded to any of them. They're, they're just all fucked up. Still <laughs> so, still nothing? No response? No, no response. What you yeah, kidding? I mean, you might, you might as well, right? So one... Uh, Last week, uh, a clubs, a clubs, and I, I keep busy. Don't get me wrong. I get oh, it. Young, you headline, don't you? A uh, co-headline. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I co-middle. Yeah, I, I, I ask middles to bring me in. So, <laughs> let me, let me ask you this. What? What do you consider a killer set? What, what, what level do you consider a killer set? You come out. Well, I, I think they know, misuse the word a little. You're supposed to get laughs. Remember that. Yes, here's one one way I gauge how I do. If I have merch, how quick and how much I sell. 
That's just kind of because you uh, never know. Dom, Dom, we were just about talking that. about that before he came on. Dom, Dom said he he never felt comfortable selling merch. Well, never. well, no, because he had to, it. was tough enough selling himself on stage. Now he wants to. <laughs> now he wants to. Now he wants to bring out fucking. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks so, for the support. No. <laughs> so, no, how well do I look? I, I just released. Look, I've been doing this for 38 years, so I know what I'm doing. There's nothing I haven't done. There's no there's no gig. I, it, there's no it, path I haven't walked. Yes, and there's the same nothing. as you. What the fuck have we not done in th I'm 38 years? I, ho I, 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 went, I did Rosie O'Donnell's show, and I hosted Woodstock, and everything in between. All right? So, you know, and I'm not... Jimi Hendrix. That's... <laughs> Uh, no, not that Woodstock. I was, oh. I, 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 I was just, so the, the thing is killing. What do you call killing? I don't, okay. Let's not even say kill. I, I just know I'm not going to fail on stage because I have, I have too many, and this is an ego. I have too many, uh, directions I can go, you know, uh, so Look, I just I, I'm coming out with my seventh album. I I've been doing this forever, and it's clean. It's this one's sparkling clean. No cursing, no sex, you know. And I did that to get on more radio stations to make more money. Uh, you know, what's I, more I, What's more important today, radio or podcasting? Oh, obviously uh, podcasts. Podcasting. So yeah, then, why yeah. Why are you trying to cater to the radio? I'm just, I'm just curious. Listen to me, fucking waffle head. No, no, I just, I'm just, I'm Every, just, I'm right. Can't, taking, can't call, I'm taking notes. Host, I'm taking co -host notes. Is a kid. I, I look up to you guys. I'm taking okay. notes. Yeah, listen. Uh, what? I, because on radio, on serious, every play I get, I get paid for. So if I'm on more, if I'm on Raw Dog, it's, all, it's about money. It's about yeah, money. Yeah, but do you just say why am I focusing on radio? For a, for a C, when I put out a, an album or a CD. I'm not mm -hmm. putting it out to get on podcasts, you know. I I put it out to make extra money because they play it on either Raw Dog or on the Clean Station or whatever. So if you put out a clean one, there's more tracks that will be played on different different uh, avenues of uh, of the comedy channels. That's all. So so leading up to the filming of your special, you you worked clean for like a year or two while you were working on it. No, no, this wasn't a special. This was an album. This was just an album. And I was leading up to it was just doing whatever I do. And then mm -hmm. added what is what is that you do do? No, I kill, <laughs> which I don't have a definition. <laughs> I don't have a definition. <laughs> Why? What do you consider? Look, every time I've seen you work. You to me, you kill you. The audience loves you. You're having they're having a good time. So I don't know what kill is. I, I think I think a kill is the spontaneously they, they all stand at the end, and they're, they're, they're clapping their chin. You know, they're really not not just getting big laughs, but extreme. So I, I I figure I have to be three or four of my career. Well, then if that's the case, I've I've never killed, but I I've hurt. I've hurt. <laughs> no, I standing you up and you hurt my feelings. By the way, earlier I did. Yeah, you know, never mind. It's, I'm, I'm okay. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, you know what? Like, you know what? That thing that you said about me, you know, asking if you want to go on. People yeah. fucking remember stuff, don't they? I mean, I try and be yeah. nice to everybody, and because they should, you should be not because it's a big deal. I'm so such a great person. That's that's my uh, that's my Rich Vaz memory. I um, I've had that from so many people, like right, Mike, uh, Mark Maron. Yeah, Mark Maron. He said to me, "I was doing my podcast. I said, thanks for coming. I know you're busy." He goes, "Yeah, I'd do anything for you. You helped me out when I was on coke, and I, I'm not St. Francis of Assisi, but I like to hear. <laughs> you know, it's nice to hear that people, you were nice to people. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, it's being yeah, you're right because, I mean, there's so many different sayings that I hear in in all my twelve step meetings. But Is that my cock. <laughs> things that didn't make it you know and like you can't i try i try to kind of like if i'm going to a club and a thursday i'll go yeah put on some new comics give them a chance do what you know uh you know uh, some if a middle or someone says hey can i sell uh merch yeah of course but because they don't yeah, make any money they don't make any money 
Yeah, like, like seven years ago, I came to your show at uh, Albany Funny Bone, Rich. And I came up to you on this after the Saturday late show. I asked if I can get a guest spot and you told me to come back the next day. I well, came back. Me. I came back. I introduced myself to the club owner at the time. And she said she didn't want to get into a, a beef with you. So she didn't let me go in the green room. And then after the show, I came up to you. You were outside saying good night to everybody. And you said, next time a headliner tells you you could do a spot, you just you just you just come in the green room. You don't you don't go through that. That's what you told me. You said don't go through. I that. told you this. No, Rich. Oh, I was getting me, I was getting me, Rich and I uh, confused. <laughs> yes, a lot of people do. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, well, if you would have came up to me before the show, yeah, that's I, what you said. You called me a fucking dummy. You said <laughs> you, were like, you were like you should have just came up to me. Why'd you go up to them? <laughs> yeah, they're fucking useless. They, if they're not managing a comedy club, they're managing a fucking Fridays <laughs> or a fucking hula hands. The fucking jamokes. <laughs> You're fucking burning bridges big, again. Oh, big deal. I'm 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 burning tunnels now. Fucking bridges. <laughs> this club owner the other day said to me, "I can give you an off night." I go off nights. I do the comedy solo or the comedy store to practice for rooms like yours. Shut up. You're going to give me an off night. Go fuck yourself. I've been doing this. Are you kidding me? I put, I just, my daughter got married the other night. I, I, I pay for two weddings. Thank you. A house from, from doing what I do. You're going to give me an off night. Oh, fuck it. I look it. I'm Gloria Gaynor. I will survive. God bless right? you, boy. You know, you, you were, you were, you, you were the first white act on Def Jam, right? Yes. How many were there? Well, they it was going for five years, and then they put me on, and I thought that was going to be the last year, so I would have been the only fucking white act. <laughs> and then they do it one more year, and they put on two more. So I was, and then they stopped. If they would have stopped, I would have been the only. And at that time, Dev Jam was the biggest show on HBO. And then I would call clubs and go, yeah, I did Dev Jam. They go, oh, we don't use those type of acts. <laughs> so it, all it did was, <laughs> all it did was hurt me. <laughs> yeah, we don't use Def Jam acts. Yeah, I, thanks. I, I love Day Jam. Day Jam, I love that one kind of a thread, thread line that threads everything. Is that, Man, that pussy was stinky. <laughs> I know. Stinky pussy. Stinky, stinky pussy, pussy, pussy. <laughs> White yeah, that's people. mostly writing, but. Yeah, white people crazy. Yeah, they, pay, they pay taxes. Uh, <laughs> crazy. What's up with that? <laughs> crazy ass crackers going to the movies and not talking. Uh, <laughs> but back here, back east, you know, look, when I was my first wife, I had two young kids. So I had to work anywhere I could. I had to make, you know, and I would, and I, I did whatever rooms the urban rooms the, so you know and you know and it wasn't i wasn't i pandered during dev jam but i never really pandered when i did those rooms because i grew up in that environment yeah. when I, if i look back at my dev jam set i'm a pandering douchebag and mm -hmm. i hate it i think you know, it's I'm, funny i think it's hysterical yeah but they made me wear the clothing like i came there with my clothing and they oh. go russell simmons wants you to wear fat farm so now I got to wear his. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They said, wow. Russell, Russell. I mean, I'm the first white guy to do it. So they go, we want you to. Can you Russell, bring that up, Brian? Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. It'll, it'll pop up right away. Rich Foz. Do not play the video. I'd rather. Oh, just to see what he's wearing. I mean, yeah, I don't remember it being too crazy. Yeah. The outfit for, yeah, the look, for the time, you know, for the time, there were people that dressed like that, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. It, were you headlining before you got the gig? Yeah, I mean, look, head, real headliners work Vegas. I was closing rooms. <laughs> you know, I was the last <laughs> act. You know, Bellazzo or Jerry Stanley would put me last. You know, you know, there was so many one-nighters. <clears throat> I remember Jerry Stanley, this guy, he had these weird gigs. And one of them was Warren, Ohio, right? Uh -huh. I, I remember sitting in the, at the beer, at the, the beer, at the bar, with the, at the improv going, Man, I'd love to do Warren, Ohio. Be great. I'm thinking, I'm going, what the fuck, Warren, Ohio? Who cares? It's just jealousy. I want to get something you don't have. I, I know. know where it is. <laughs> my dream, my dream was to work the Penny Arcade. Then I worked there, and then my dream was to work Rascals. Right? 
Oh, uh, sure, big, big Jersey thing. So, yeah, that was that was fucking. Are you kidding me? Rassels was the club, and they had Rassels Comedy Hour. It was a TV show. You know, uh, at one point, Mike Egan hosted it, and just different hosts. Uh, I I read online that you guys were both on the uh, the festival or tour the night the that famous like Bill Burr rant in Philly. You guys were both on the show. I hosted. I hosted the whole. The first half of of the tour, both. But you and Dom were both on it, right? Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. the thing that with Bill. I went on stage, and I'm from Philly. It's Camden, same thing. Yeah. And uh, they some parts started booing me, right? Now, about three hundred people out of three thousand. I, no. I didn't get. There was about ten thousand. Okay, so, so yeah. whatever was big, and I said something about look, you ten thousand people in Camden. Go back Jesus to your mother's. Christ. Go back to your mother's garage where you sleep with your ACDC T-shirt, and I'm making twelve thousand dollars. Fucking blow me, and then the place, <laughs> the place got totally changed, you know, and we lamped at everything. Bill was on after me. He says, "Stay left at Don Marrera. Fuck them." I said, "Don't worry about it." And he goes, "Oh, fuck them." So that's then I go sit on the speaker because I know something funny is going to come out. Yeah. That's when he fucking unloaded one of the funniest monologues I've ever seen. It was he, 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 he was going after Philly. He goes, and fuck the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> what the fuck the Statue of Liberty ever do? He was fuck this, fuck Rocky, fuck your fake statues. Fuck. We were all sitting there watching this, and that was that was all ad libbed, obviously. Yeah, Rich, did Rich, did you did you have a good set, Rich? I hosted it. I mean, those here's back then th that audience like if they knew you you had a pass if you didn't you know they were they were not they're not look they're there from 11 o'clock in the morning drinking. Yeah, they're drunk they're drunk and yeah. they, they may, they're fucking people to the radio show that's what they relate to yeah that's their life they got the t-shirts and everything they're fucking right. yeah like Morons. me <laughs> yeah. yeah you yes yes you it was it was you <laughs> and and bigger people. <laughs> These and for every girl there was two hundred guys, you know. Radio they were radio people because radio fans have access to the to the DJs. They could call in, they can go to events, they become, hey, it's Tom from Poughkeepsie calling again, right? You can't you can't call, you know, Ben Affleck. Or you know you can you can't call you know uh, Megan Fox, but you can call fucking Opie and Anthony right. and get on. So they're a different they're you know they're a different world, yeah. And but some of them are great comedy fans, but some of them live with, in their mom's basement, yeah. You know and and whatever. But at the time, look at and when he just said twelve thousand, it, it it killed me that I didn't even make half that. Uh, and, I was, <laughs> and I was a regular. But Jimmy Sh Jimmy Schubert came up to me. He says they fucking you know I I bombed. I said did they did they listen to you at all? He goes no. They just clapped over me. I said well then you can't bomb. You can't bomb if there's nothing to bomb. You know they're already fucking drunk. They're not fuck them. Yeah. You know. Jimmy uh, took it personally. It wasn't him. He what was the what was, what was the lineup? Do you guys Bob remember? Saget, Bob Saget was on it. Um, well, just uh, two I know of us. Bobby Kelly Norton. It was the yeah, regular. Kelly. Who was the guy? Norton was the guy they came to see, and they fucking booed him. <laughs> they they were drunk. They were so fucking drunk they didn't know where they were. Who, yes, fo I, who followed Bill Burr? Uh, probably Saget or somebody. No, no, Saget was in the end of the first act. He had the guitar and all. Oh, hey, which was, calmed him down for a minute. We did. We did like two years and we did like 80 years or something so it was always different lineups well see bill but, couldn't go he couldn't let go with them because they expected that every time yeah he went think it was ex, ex, being ex i can't get the word out of that we, you know they had one uh forget we, this they they want him to recreate it because yeah it's a one moment it made it so funny one moment and then they moved on but he they, his crowd couldn't move on but he, you know he grew from it yeah, we went to Cleveland the next week, or two, and it, they tried to get him, and he just said, fuck this, and walked off. He made a good move, because he couldn't yeah. do better than that. No, yeah, you can't. It's just like any 
just like Hollywood. They try to make remakes of classics. I go, let it go. It's fucking, it's done. A classic's a classic. How many more lassies can we see? <laughs> I know. I How many? I don't think that's the real lassie. <laughs> yeah. How many times can I have an orgasm? Jesus, let it go. Three, three, four, <laughs> three, uh, a year. Uh, orgasm. How's Bonnie doing? Her career, she's doing great. She just had, you know, created two. T she was writing, uh, created two TV shows. I don't know. I don't think they got picked up. But now she's writing a movie. They're doing a remake of a movie, and then she might have another movie deal to write, to write and produce. And she, she was, she, she was executive producer on the Netflix show that they shot in Austin last year. She, uh, I think, I think she's terrific. I mean, the two of you together is a great couple. Thank you. I mean, comedically, besides Adam in real real life, but I seen her improve so much. I remember her fucking trying and yeah. she was having a tough time, and then I see her a year later, she's killing. I mean, not killing, kill, but yeah. killing. <laughs> <laughs> when I we first got together, she would open for me, and like my audience was, they were animals, and she we're working Pittsburgh improv, and she's just like, and she walks off stage. Then she goes in the back of the room and yells, huh? Do you miss me now? Right? And then, <laughs> then, then we worked in Cincinnati, and she <laughs> kind of finally figured out these fucking mokes. Right? And she had a, a good set. And she <laughs> raised her hand and said, thank you, Cincinnati. Like she was working at a fucking stadium. <laughs> right. so she, she was so excited. Thank you, Cincinnati. It's a fucking funny bone, stupid. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cincinnati. <laughs> so we never knew how did, you, how did you get together the two of you? I never knew how that, where that we, happened. I was working at the cellar one night, mm -hmm. and she comes walking downstairs. I'm going, oh, "Look at that hot girl!" I go, "I think that's the comedian that dates comics." Then she walks up to me. <laughs> she walks up to me and says, "Are you that guy in Last Comic Standing?" I go, "Yeah." So she's watching me, and I'm having a tough set. Cause I'm nervous because she's watching. Mm -hmm. And she walked down. She goes, "Are you that comedian?" And out of nowhere, I go, "Yeah, but I'm on a date, right?" <laughs> what did, oh shit! You were, you were on a date at that time? Yeah, the girl was the hairdresser from the View, and she was in the audience. And so the next day, I call Esty at the cellar. I go, "Get me." Now, now it's getting a little creepy. No, I go, <laughs> so, <laughs> so so I said, Can, "Get me Bonnie McFarland's phone number." So Bonnie says to Essie, under no circumstance, give him my number. So she wouldn't. So I drew, So I went back to the cellar, and she was there. And then we went out and had pizza. And then I went down on her a little in the car. Oh, and yeah. now did we have finger, a kid. Did you finger her? Did you <laughs> finger her? <laughs> now, now we have a kid. <laughs> we allowed to leave Bri Brian, is can we leave out in Brian fingering? Oh, wait, is this dirty? You got to be... I didn't mean to curse. Am I not allowed to curse? <laughs> no, you can definitely everyone. curse. This is, not a, this is not a clean podcast. Anything go it's, come on, it's, Do it's Dom Herrera's show. Come on, there ain't oh, rules. Hey. Well, you just asked if we could leave that in. Well, I, uh, that's been a while since I heard fingering it on anything. That's just why yeah. I did it, because I thought it was funny. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I w Two weeks ago, I did some deaf show in in los angeles a lot a lot of fingering and so the signer is on stage and i said to him i go when you finger your wife are you talking inside her pussy <laughs> Dude, that, that's beautiful <laughs> that's a that's moment killing. that's killing <laughs> oh i got such stomach pains my father would always say look at him over there he looks like he's sticking his, his thumb up his ass and i thought no i didn't I never read ever happened. Where the fuck's that coming from? This is the wisdom a father gives a son. <laughs> leave him over there. <laughs> Just leave him. Uh, Rich, yeah. are you in Vegas? I thought Skankfest is this week, isn't it? Yeah, I, I go tomorrow. Uh, where what club are you working? It's not a club. They're doing it's some uh, it's a festival they do. East Coast festival that day didn't colin quinn say on your roast uh skank fest is coachella for features for features Co <laughs> coachella for for middle acts for features yeah. yeah dom you have to watch rich's roast at the comedy cellar it's the it's, best roast I'm it's the sure. best roast and i th and rich correct me the, the reason why it's so fucking funny this, this they're, rich? All, they're 
<laughs> they're that? all they're all friends. They're uh, all that's that makes it better than anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's free on YouTube at Voss Roast. It's I I'm gonna <laughs> say this hands down. It's probably one of the best roasts in the history of roasts. It. Bonnie McFar Bonnie hosted it. She walked up and she looked at Jim Norton and said, "Your radio show is so bad. I'd rather listen to my daughter drowning." That's how she opened. That's how she opened it. It was so funny. Jim Florentine was so good. Oh, he's terrific. He, yeah. It, it was just such a good roast. Colin Norton, Judy Gold. Everybody, you know. Judy Gold, we're in um, uh, Montreal. We're doing the Dirty Show, and you had to go up for the stage. Remember how it is? So I go down, and she's in the dressing room. Dressing room. She says, uh, "Could you smell my pussy from there?" I go, "No," but you could hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and why it was funny for us? We were fucking crying, laughing. <laughs> it's her pussy making making noise from. There. <laughs> <laughs> I on my <laughs> roast on my roast I looked at her and I go I loved you on the subway platform in Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can, uh, she's she's getting so much acting work. I just saw her, she was uh she had like two or three episodes on uh, City on the Hill in mm -hmm. uh, the one with Kevin Bacon. You know uh, she's gonna get a lot of acting work. You know when you're a seven foot lesbian they fucking knock down your door <laughs> they love it they love it <laughs> Jeez. we go into a, a restaurant you know it's all mostly french and she starts going Just about the kid. I go, judy it's not funny to them they, they speak french You're doing that gibberish you know <laughs> <laughs> what is <laughs> Rich, who, who, who had the best set of the night you think at your roast who had the best in, in your opinion i think f maybe florentine mm -hmm. norton did really well who jim norton did really he did well, well. He, he went first he was good he fuck, yeah i bit the bullet uh i think florentine i listen everybody did i had a close i had to follow all those killer acts and go mm -hmm. last what are you kidding me I was as nervous as anything on my dumb roast. It's too nerve-wracking. I was on the Donald Trump roast. I roasted Trump in front of 2,000 fucking people in New York. You know, every everybody that was anything, you know, Regis was the host. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I go, so Stewie Stone goes on first. This guy kills like I've never seen on a roast. Then then uh, Susie Essman goes on. She slaughters. She's and so then Belzer, then Belzer goes on, right? I'm, as Susie's on, I'm going. I have to sneak off this. I'm going to end my career. <laughs> there was everybody in New York. I'm going to. I go. I'm done. If I go on, I can't follow that. So then Belzer goes on. I go. Okay, I can follow that. And <laughs> who is one of the? He's still do, doing Reagan jokes. Yeah, he's <laughs> <laughs> he's still doing Jagger. Yeah. So so Regis was the host. But it was a month after Rodney Dangerfield passed away. It was a month later. So I walk on. I go, a big hand for Regis. Originally, they asked Rodney to host it, but he said, I'd rather be dead. <laughs> <laughs> silence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, I mean, <laughs> silence. And, I mean, I, Al Sharpton was sitting on the dais. I can't even repeat what I said. But, anyhow, I pulled it out. It was just nerve wracking. Anyhow, Mike Cohen, the lawyer, Trump's lawyer, put my joke in his book with my name. Uh, I said the reason Trump puts his names on his buildings so the banks know which ones to take back. And that, that was that, <laughs> that was like, that was seventeen years ago. Okay, so, <laughs> so you knew what a, what a criminally was seventeen years ago. <laughs> Uh, so whatever, but it's not about me. It's just good. Do you, th memory. Do you think there's rules now at uh at roast now? You think it, like like then there was no rules, right? Nothing. You, you could anything goes, right? Would they say anything to you before? The, you mean like the dreadful n n? You can't even say the n. <laughs> <Don't>, <laughs> blazing no, saddles. No, no. Well, I was watching. Uh, 
I was watching Gilbert Godfrey's uh, documentary, and apparently yeah. he did. Um, I think it was Hugh Hefner's roast in New York, and he did a joke that like affected his career really bad. Nine eleven. Oh yeah, yeah. You remember that, Rich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was I like mean, it was like two weeks after. Yeah, but you can't make fun of nine eleven two weeks after in New York. What That's you know, crazy. Gilbert? Gilbert didn't care. He. I mean, I don't know him like that, but I don't think he had a filter. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so you you don't. You well, don't, my you... my roast, we produced it, so we can say whatever the fuck we want, right. and we're gonna we have define we're gonna edit it, the final edit, so we could say, you know, when we did our movie, Women Are Funny, there was stuff said in it that we took out. Yeah, yeah, you know, look. There's always there's line. always stuff you can't say. It just changes in the time period. Yeah, and there's whatever a fine time period line. you're in, it changes. Yeah, I don't want people to be mad or hurt. I want to be funny. You yeah, know, you exactly. don't want to, like when I was told the the N word, you know, so you can't. Say, I, I out of respect to people, it causes that much fucking pain. I'll drop it. You yeah. know, there was a time when everybody said it, and you know, black guys say it now still, but. I just I, I don't I just don't fucking care anymore. I'm not going to do it, you know. So enough's enough because it's going to bring back these horrible memories. Fuck it, I'm yeah. not going. You know. Yeah, I don't even say hello or goodbye anymore. No, because he should be <laughs> making screw that. What did he mean by goodbye? He's going to. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what that's what that's what she said to me before she was hit by the car. Uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Look, there's when when you guys were on, you guys were both regularly on Tough Crowd. Con Quinn show. Did, yeah. were, were there rules with that at the time on Comedy Central where you did whatever you wanted? You're not stupid. Called, it's TV. Go ahead. I called Maurice a um, silverback. <laughs> oh, geez. I was on that episode well, we were, with Maurice. Was that, were in that one? That I, that I said that? I know. I, I, I don't remember. He was, he, he was on it a lot. But uh, he laughed. He, you know, I saw him in, you know, and, you know I'm not going to do it if I think they're not going to laugh. Sure oh, no, not. it's you call Patrice it, not Maurice. You call Patrice that. Oh, see, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, right. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. I mean, he's, he can't come back now. Uh, yeah, I did Tough Crowd a lot. And that was fun, that show. Oh, was was, was that like podcast style, like if Colin Senior or one of you on, he would call you? Or did you have to go like Comedy Central had to reach out to you? Like, what, was it like that or was it just what, hey, why what, jump a little, show? little bit of both, right? Yeah. What business are you in? What, did It was a TV show. It, I mean, Colin would say, hey, I'm going to get you on it to, to people. And then mm -hmm. the booker would call and, and give you a date. Colin didn't book the show. He hosted. Yeah, you know, just the other day, Jimmy Fallon was calling people to get on this. You fucking idiot! <laughs> I used, next time you have a question like that, punch yourself in the face, you fucking stunad. What a jackass! Yeah, Carson used to call. Hey, listen, uh, <laughs> hey, Mister Adada, Kip Adada, whatever his fucking name is, <laughs> can oh, you that, come out? How did that come out? I don't know. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm just going to shut up. Get, no, get, get Dom, good. no, go, go ahead. Dom. I like when you ask questions. Who? I, I was going to ask about the famous ball breaking at the comedy cellar, Rich, because it's yeah. like legendary now. Like your whole crew and everything. And if, if that goes on anymore, when you're down there, you stop I don't, by. I don't even go in there as much. I I don't go into New York as much. If I'm not working, I want to stay home. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. I don't have to prove or prove anything. You know, I, if I go in New York, it's because I want to hang out or if I, or or do weekend spots. But if I'm not on the road, I, I want to stay home. I went in last night to support a, at the stand, not at the cellar. But no, because none of us, all my crew is all dead. Uh, you know, yeah. I'm, or they're famous. You know, Kevin Hart, Bill, Kevin Hart started with us mm -hmm. under our crew. He came, Keith Robinson brought him up from Philly. He sat at our Jesus table. Jesus Christ, how old was he? 16? No, he was young. He was young. I mean. Chappelle was like 17, too. Yeah, when he started. Yeah, in, in D.C. His mother used to drop him off, man. At Garvin's. He was Garvin, like 16. Yeah. Rich, you re Rich, you remember him being strong, Kevin Hart? Was he strong or he developed? Comic? Yeah. I never, I, 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 didn't, I didn't watch the guys. 
If we were at, you know, because I'm upstairs, I'm not going to go down and watch. I mean, we were doing, Kevin was moving to L.A. And we were at some dump, the Boston Comedy Club. Not a dump. It was a small club, the Boston Comedy Club. And me, Keith Robinson, and Patrice were sitting in the back of the room. And there was like 10 phone books there for some reason. And Kevin Hart was on stage pontificating. And we just started throwing phone books at him <laughs> from the back. <laughs> right? And he he tells that story a lot. You know, I mean, all, it just... Why did you throw phone books? Because he was an ass. We go, shut up, you jackass. He's sitting there saying, oh, I'm going to miss everybody. This is, And we're like, oh, shut up. And we just start throwing <laughs> phone books at him. And at, at Patrice's funeral, he said, I knew, at his, I knew I was accepted when they threw phone books at me. And then I went on. I go, we threw them at you so you could stand on them, you little fidget. <laughs> He's... Billy, you know, Billy, all of them, you, we all should just all sit back. There's a whole different time now. These kids, mm -hmm. like you go into the, these, it's these kids different. today, yeah, they don't know what funny is. Yeah, I said something to some kid, you know, it was a slam trying to be funny. And he looks at me and goes, what's that about? I was like, oh, my God. What's that about? <laughs> what am I, your fucking counselor? Dom, you, you said I did all right when I opened for you in July. Dom, you, you were happy with my set. Well, it's all relative. <laughs> what you say is, the fact that you sit, stood there and talked that twenty minutes was amazing. Rich and don't even we... Rich don't even remember me. Remember working with me? That's, that's how yeah. I'm oh yeah, about. I couldn't wait. I go that guy. Let me tell you, I, <laughs> I don't remember who I worked with last week. Rich, we did the show in AC. Where the where the guy was walking his dog on the beach behind us. You remember that? During, right. right, right after the, during the pandemic. Oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, the outdoor. It was outdoors. Outdoors. Good set. You did good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, don't, I, I, yeah, I kind of remember it. We wasn't there like lat a lot of Latinos in the audience or there something. There definitely was a, a lot of uh, Spanish people. Yes, yes, there were. <laughs> you were on that show. I was. I, uh, I I don't know. I might have sneezed and missed it. I uh, I don't know. Okay. Ugh. I'd rather watch my I'd rather watch my wife with the Forty ers <laughs> than watch that horrible debacle you bring to the stage. Ugh. Rich Boz, everybody. Yo, Dom. Yo, episodes. Rich, thanks for coming on, man. Good. Thank to see you for you. having me. I'm sorry if I talk too much. No, Rich. it's great. We bring Bonnie the next time she wants to come. Yeah, I just, I'm lonely. <laughs> that stomach, my stomach, my stomach is so fuck screwed up. It's just killing me. Uh, Wait a minute, you guys are still together, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't want to. Maybe I shouldn't ask that on the thing. It just, it's just, it's good. We have, we have a house. We have separate bedrooms, which is great. <laughs> Plus, after sex, I'm like, hey, look, you got to run. But I give her one of my CDs. I always give her one of my CDs. That's uh, awesome. <laughs> That's a nice touch. <laughs> classy, classy. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna reevaluate re my shows and go. I did well. I'm not gonna say kill for now on. How did how did you do? It went well. It went well. All right. Crushed. What the fuck's cr who's crushing? <laughs> <laughs> who's crushing? <laughs> who's crushing? Oh, Mark I crushed. I crushed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a, a good set is when. When you could sit down, like I do, because I'm fucking lazy, and <laughs> you could ad lib and and just and you, it's a small room with like 25 people, and you could just talk and bring them into your world. How about that? What am which, I? Which 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 Rich Vaz is top five of all time? Let me hear this. Top five what? Comedians, oh, killers, guys. top five. Are you kidding me? That I, you've ever seen. They don't need to be famous. Well, that you've obviously, ever seen. Ob okay, obviously, Dom, obviously, Richard, Jenny, mm -hmm. uh, Stan Hope, Maria Banford. Stan Hope, yeah. Maria oh. Banford. Uh, there's so many. It depends what, what era, you know, you're going from 30 years ago. From, look, I used to come home from school in fourth grade fourth grade every day and listen to von meter 
All right. You won't know who he is, but he did the Kennedy impressions. Mm -hmm. And once they were assassinated, For a while. For a once, while. He, yeah, once they were assassinated, <laughs> his career was over. So I grew up because I grew up watching Ed Sullivan with Alan King and all these comics and Von Meter and stuff. And then later on in life, I just realized my parents were getting divorced and the, that covered the pain I was dealing with as a kid to listen to comedy as mm -hmm. a kid. So then growing up, you listen to Eddie Murphy, Pryor, you know. Uh, so I loved comedy throughout my whole life. So you you can't really pick five comics that, you know, because, and you can't compare. Because I love comedy. I love somebody like a Brian Regan that's observational talking from his head. Mm -hmm. But then also uh, I like, you know, uh, like a Stanhope that's talking from in here. You know, there's two different kinds of comedy. One from your heart, one from your head. To me. And I like all kinds. I just like watching good comedy. Okay. That's why I don't remember working with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you brought that or you saved that right just to the end. <laughs> Yo, Rich. Standing O. There you go. That was good. Yeah. Rich Vaz, everybody. Thank you for having me. I'm sorry if I talk too much. Stop. Thank lonely. you, Rich. I'm lonely. Can I leave? Yo, Dom, over here. Hey, hey Dom. Hey. Yo, Dom.